Good morning, guten Morgen, magenta numaga, konnichiwa, bonjour. Not sure if anyone on my channel caught um, or was able to watch the video that I posted yesterday before it got deleted. Um, got my first uh, strike on this channel. <laughs> video is just too hip, too real. <laughs> so um, it doesn't discourage me. I don't feel like I wasted my time. I wasn't upset about it. I wasn't surprised. Uh, especially with the content I decided to talk about. Um, the thing is, I testified something and it's still part of my testimony. So it doesn't matter whether or not um, it was deleted. I still shared my testimony. I'm a walking testimony. It doesn't matter whether it's posted on a video or not. It really just doesn't. So I want to keep this video very simple, simplistic, and to the point. Um, I've heard people um, make statements that the enemy, the Antichrist spirit, Satan, um, um, has some truth or um, more or less says, twists the truth. So there's some truth there, but twists it. And that perspective is very, very dangerous because when you um, testify falsely or you misre misrepresent something and it's not true, then it's 100% not true. 100%. The Lord said, that Satan is the father of lies and there's no truth in him. So what is the Lord saying? The Lord didn't say there's some truth in the stories that are told in this world. If someone doesn't have his Holy Spirit, this is the truth. If someone's not born again in Christ, and truly doesn't have his Holy Spirit, which is the 99.999%. There's less than 1% here. I'm not a mathematician, but that gate is narrow. Only 144,000. Now this is scriptural. I know there's a lot of people that have come up against me saying that that's not scriptural. Only 144,000. And yet it says these are those that made themselves ready. How did the 144,000 make themselves ready? By acquiring his Holy Spirit. How did they make their robes white? By becoming born again in Christ. That they didn't defile themselves with women. Women is the harlot, the world false lying spirits, false doctrine, lies. Anything that's opposing of Christ is referred to as the woman. Christ is the masculine, the world is the feminine. So, um, and we follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, which means we follow truth and truth only. We follow the shepherd, the teacher. We're, we have the comforter of the Holy Spirit. It's not about a feeling. It's not called the comforter because it's a feeling. It's called the comforter because when you know truth, you know it 100%. And when you know truth 100%, you're comforted because you know you're standing on that rock of truth. So, 
considering the fact that only 144,000 here, I don't know how many people are here, the population is also a lie. But regardless of however many people are here, only 144,000 actually have his Holy Spirit and actually are born again in Christ. So this tells me only 144,000 are speaking truth and everyone else is serving their father and they do their father's will. What does, what does their father do? Their father lies, no truth in him. Do I think some people know that they're lying? I think they're all under a strong delusion because that's scriptural. They believe they're following Christ. They believe 100% that they're born again. They believe that they have his Holy Spirit because it's a feeling, because they're seeing signs and wonders, because whatever reason why they think that they're born again in Christ. They think that they know truth. They think that they have eyes to see because they see um, supernatural things. And that's not about following Christ either because the Lord said, when they say Christ is here, which Jesus Christ is truth. So when they say truth is here, believe it not. Those of us who truly have his Holy Spirit we don't get our teachings from anywhere else except the Lord. We don't go to man. So if somebody's claiming to be born again in Christ and they attend a church and follow a minister or a pastor, which means they follow a man, they're, they're letting man plant seeds in their crown, they're allowing their crown to be stolen by someone else, or if they're not even going to a church, if they're just listening to someone with a PhD, or they're listening to their neighbor, or a family member, or whomever other than Christ, again, their crown is still being stolen away. When the Lord said to focus on heavenly things, he means to just come away from the world. You know, Lot's wife turned around and um, because she believed, perhaps she believed what someone else said, what someone else influenced her to do. She lacked faith in the Lord that the Lord knows what he's doing. So she turned back to the world. It wasn't about missing uh, her house and her furniture and her possessions. Um, when someone, when the Lord's referring to building your treasures here, he means mainly like whatever you've built up in your mind of what's the truth is she allowed man to influence her more than trusting and having faith in Christ only. So that's the reason why she turned around because her heart was still in the world. So I hope that makes sense. But in any event, the lights changed in here and I'm sorry that like it's very cloudy and it just got really dark in here. <laughs> so I hope I plant a good seed that the main point of this video is you know them by their fruit. If they're not truly born again in Christ, you are going to see that they're still of the world. They celebrate holidays. They keep up their, you know, patriotism or their loyalty to certain things in this world. Um, they, they speak about worldly things as if it were true. There's no truth in this world. That's what truly coming out of this world. It's not about quitting your job. It's not about abandoning your family, okay? Coming out of the world means I know whatever narrative, whatever the merchants of this world is buying and selling, I'm not buying it and I'm not selling it myself. I'm not receiving it as if it were true and speaking about it and repeating it and regurgitating it as if it were the truth 
because I know that there's no truth. That's what truly following the Lord means. That I know anyone in the flesh most likely does not have his Holy Spirit, no matter what good intentions that person may have, that they cannot speak truth. They cannot know the truth because the Lord hasn't called them out of the world. The Lord hasn't given them eyes to see. The Lord has placed them under a strong delusion because they made choices, their free will, to believe the false lying spirits that are in them. This is a spiritual warfare for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is what people don't understand. They trust in people who call themselves their brother and sister. Well, I'm here to tell you most likely, most likely they are not your brother and sister. That doesn't mean I look at them um, any differently or I look down upon other people. This just means I trust no one in the flesh. I don't care how much they say they love the Lord Jesus Christ. I know that most people are not converted and I pray for them still. I pray the Lord has mercy upon us all and I have love for other people because I was lost. I was in the darkness. I was misled. I believed the lies. Okay, so I'm no different. So I may not look at someone as a brother and sister in Christ, but I still look at them with the same amount of love, concern, and I pray for everyone. I hope I plant a good seed. I love you and God bless.